I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is Tap Tap's visit to the shard. So, I wasn't expecting this exactly. But uh, after I did the last visit to the shard video, which, uh, if you didn't see the original video, it's a walking sim that I found a little bit too slow. Um, Connor Sherlock, the developer, um, hello Parker, um, emailed me and said, well, sorry you didn't like it, so I made a version that's 25 times faster, like I said. So, this is TapTap's visit to the shard. Gotta go fast! Oh, it's so fast that, like, what is even happening with my face? I don't know what's going on with the camera. But, um, that is, woo! Sonic boom, sonic boom, sonic boom. Now that is, why, why does the camera do that? That is amazing. Uh, I didn't ask for this, but, um, I almost wish I did. Woo! He said the, the, the project's pretty old. I forget when exactly this originally came out. Um, I'm not one of those YouTubers that only plays new things. Um, I'll play pretty much anything as long as it's, you know, it's my general sort of taste. Oh, whoa. Um, wonder where those bridges are. The weird thing is, I don't think you start out in the same location. Um, as you did in the original file, because I remember starting next to, you know, a shard of some sort, and then there being some tree things. Uh oh. That doesn't look right. Am I. I'm not sure what angle I'm at. I don't think. I don't think you're supposed to fall in this direction. I don't think any of this is right at all, honestly. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think it may have broken the entire universe. Oh, yep, there's the universe. Oh, and it's broken. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is the music that plays when you break the universe. Isn't it bittersweet? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> oh, it's back. All right, let me let me try something real quick. And by try something, I obviously mean just restarting the game. I love if you. Um, like Bordeaux's full screen, which is a thing where it's like, it's like full screen, but your mouse can just escape and like without breaking things. Um, there's a thing called borderless gaming. Um, it works really great, uh, especially with Unity, which a lot of indie games are Unity, um, these days. So it, it's really useful to have it. Um, right, let's try not to break the universe this time. Something seems, I don't know if it's the speed or the fact, he, like I said, he, it, this was an old project. And so some things might have been borked, might have been a Unity uh, version change in between there. Uh, I don't know. I've never, I haven't built with Unity. I did download. Uh, Unity is not free, so I didn't really mess with it too much. Uh oh. I don't. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I, I feel like I'm on a wall here. I'm, I'm not sure I'm supposed to be on here. Oh. I think I've embedded myself in a wall. Oh, there we go. Wait, no, I think I think I'm not on a wall. I do think world geometry seems weird, but um, I'm 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 honestly kind of enjoying it more this way. Um, uh oh, I'm stuck in a floor. One last R. One last try. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing lots of Pokemon Sun. Oh, by the way, this is my last video I'm recording in 2016. Goodbye, 2016. Um, you probably will not see this. You'll probably see this in 2017 already. Um, I doubt I'll upload this fast enough. Um, let's try though in this direction. Um, oh, there's one of those birds! Crystal Burb. Why aren't there any Crystal Burbs in Pokemon? I was gonna talk about, talk about Pokemon. Um, yeah, Crystal Burbs. Why are there no Crystal Burbs? There's a lot of good Burbs this generation, though. Oh, here's where I wanted to go. I wanted to go with the, I think there's the, the bridges. <laughs> Why does this do that? Um, but yeah, a problem that this game has, you know, the slowness. Oh. <laughs> This is honestly pretty great. Um, woo. 
I just <laughs> I like how I like impact like with the speed of sound. Wee! Hi, Barky. Um, <laughs> Wee! This is pretty great. Um, a lot of Pokemon kind of slows you down unnecessarily. Parker, 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 Barky, not for the mic. Parker, please sit over there. There you go. Uh oh. What did I? Oh. Wait, which way was I going? Oh, apparently this way. There's stuff here. <laughs> this is the bridge that took me five minutes to traverse before. And I just, I was not having that. Ooh, what's that? What's that? Oh. Is there things? Maybe there were things this whole time, and I didn't find them. Parker, would you please just get your butt out of in front of the mic? This is why I need a boom, a boom mic, or just a, a boom for my current mic. All right, this is the thing. This is the cool thing that we missed. It's burbs! It's a burb family! Was it worth it? Yes. Crystal burbs. This is, you know, crystal burb family is a pretty good payoff. But remember, it took me like five minutes to cross one of those bridges. As much as I like crystal burb family, I don't know if I would have been happy to find crystal burbs after like 15 minutes of bridges. Um, but yeah, Pokemon does this thing kind of to, to, uh, I don't think I'm supposed to fall off this part of the world. Um, where it kind of just slows you down for no real reason. And, um, like, in Battle Tree, I've been doing lots of Battle Tree fights, and, like, there's so many repeated dialogues and things that, like, yes, I know you healed my Pokemon. Yes, I know that we're going to continue. Just go straight to the menus, you know, uh, especially when it's like post-game stuff like Battle Tree. Nintendo games in general kind of tend to do that, like Animal Crossing is really bad with that. Like, um, Porter, the, um, the monkey that you used, uh-oh. We have escaped Earth's velocity again, or, um, you know, whatever. It's all the same down here. Oh, hey! Well, there actually is stuff down here. Well, I'm glad I fell down here then. Um, oh. There's the edge of the universe again. So you know Parker muted my mic. I don't know how much of that I lost, but I guess I, I can't believe you, Parker. You muted the mic! You little butthead! Okay, I, I don't know how much I lost there. I'll... I'll try to recreate. <laughs> I I don't know what I'll do. I'll have I'll have there'll be there'll be some editing. Um, <laughs> crap. Um, yeah, something's weird about where you start. Maybe you're supposed to start down there. No. Hmm. So I went that way. Let's see what's this way. But yeah, just in general, like, I think games value, like, they don't value not wasting your time too often. Oh, we did go this way. And, like, th th there's a big th th thing in Nintendo games. Try to make, you know, instead of menus, you have conversations. And, you know, so you have to talk to Porter, the stupid monkey that lets you go online. And you have to go through, like, you have to wait, like, a full minute and press, like, ten buttons. And you're really just like, okay... You know, there's like one option that is like valid. Like, no, there's two. There's go online and there's, um, you know, allow online people to come visit your place. You know, th there could be like maybe three, four button presses max. I'm, I'm embedded in the wall again. Don't you hate when you get embedded in the wall? I guess that's what happens when you're super giga fast. Maybe, maybe 15, maybe 10, 15 times. Would have been a bit better, you know, 10 times speed with, you know, a run button that's 15 times, or 25 times. Oh, crashed. Um, but yeah, Porter, he's just, he's just there to ruin your fun, and it's just, it doesn't make the game more immersive. It just, you know, that's the sort of thing that, like, a conversational UI works once. Um, oops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah. Hold on. Spoose this down. Ah, this, this is what happens when, when I take a break from recording stuff. 
I, I forget all of the things and then dumb things happen. But, you know, the, the point of this video is kind of dumb things. It's, you know, <laughs> it's silly. Um, I do really appreciate, you know, I, I'm sure it didn't take too long to, you know, crank the speed up to max. But, um, <laughs> uh, it's definitely a fun way to take criticism. It's like, I, I didn't, you know, completely despise it or anything. Um, but, uh, you know, just mandatory slowness is a really big um, pet peeve of mine in games, like I was saying, and and it's kind of why I find Nintendo design kind of a bit overrated, because they always do this deliberate slowdown that does adds nothing. Like, like I was saying, if you have a conversation once, like a tutorial, making a tutorial a conversation instead of a menu, sure, that's great, because the player only does it once. Um, but the online thing in Animal Crossing... I had to enter that menu every freaking day, multiple times a day, for like a month. Um, and that wasted multiple minutes of my time every single time I used it. Like, I probably lost hours of my life to that stupid menu. Um, like, this is such a good house, but why am I, I'm, I'm, I feel so small. Are these giant crystal burbs, or am I, am I like tiny bab? I don't, I don't know anymore. I don't know what reality is anymore, my friends. But, um... Let's go see what this is. Whee! I love... This. I'm starting to love the Struby camera-ness. I, I don't know what that is. But it's fascinating. I do like some of the stuff that's going on with the texture to stuff. And, um... The film grain thing, which is going to, like, you know, completely destroy. Rest in peace. Bitrate. But whatever. Just gotta deal with it. Um... But yeah, I really do wish more game dev stuff in general. Just pay attention to, you know, don't waste my time. Like, because you can always go slower. You know, if there was something that really made me stop and think, I would just go slower. You can always go slower. Unless there's, like, no option to stop moving. Like, maybe in a racing game. Oh, we went off the edge of the world again. Um, maybe in a racing game. The player would not be able to slow down and, you know, admire the roses and stuff. And then maybe... I don't know. But, um... In pretty much any other... <laughs> Hit the wall so hard I've span. Whee! Um, in pretty much any other game... Um... If you just give the player something to look at and admire, and, you know, you want a slow-paced game, the player will just slow down. You don't need to enforce slowness. Uh, I don't really think any game ever gained anything from slowness. Like, like moments like this, where you just, you fell through the geometry and you're watching the world slowly float by. These are the sort of slow moments that I enjoy. <laughs> this is not even the first time I've fallen through. I've fallen through many geometries in my days, my friends. And it's honestly always pretty cool, even though it's, you know, horrible bug in some games. But oddly peaceful and interesting sometimes. What, what was that game? Uh, Mario Kart 2. Uh, there was a very poetic ending. Oh, I forgot there's like a weird zoom button. Uh, Z fighting is destroying the universe. I wonder why... Why don't I have the pink hell in my face when I fall down this way? Mysteries of the universe. <laughs> yeah, that was a cute little revisit. Um, honestly, obviously not 100% worky-worky, but... um. <laughs> In some ways, a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't tend to do like. I'll give my honest criticism whenever I play a game. I but whenever I like completely don't enjoy something, I tend to just not do a video. I tend to like. There's been a few times where I've just stopped myself. I'm like, nah, I'm not enjoying this. Um, but this one was a request, and and uh, it popped up a couple times, so I decided I would play it. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm moving with the arrow keys, and it occasionally just gives me this shudder. I think eventually if you fall down far enough, maybe you'll get, you know, in a parallel universe, and, you know, you'll be able to uh, not press the A button. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was Tap Tap's visit to the shard. Um, that was pretty fun. 